I am Lieutenant Melissa Mady with Louisiana State Police Public Affairs Section. You are about to view a critical incident community briefing video. This critical incident community briefing is intended to give the community a better understanding of the incident that occurred. We will present the evidence that we currently have, inclusive of possible 911 calls, body-worn cameras, and other relevant evidence related to this incident. This information is based on what we know right now. We are still in the very early stages of this comprehensive investigation, and our understanding of the incident may change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. The ability of the department to investigate these incidents depends on the impartiality and transparency of the investigation and consideration to the potential criminal culpability of those involved. These images are difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong and offensive language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. On Sunday, April 23, 2023, at approximately 9.45 p.m., troopers with the Louisiana State Police Bureau of Investigations were requested by the Shreveport Police Department to investigate an officer-involved shooting. The shooting occurred on Mansfield Road at Valley View Drive within the city limits of Shreveport. The initial investigation revealed that at approximately 9.31 p.m., Officer Vashadi with the Shreveport Police Department's Community Response Unit initiated a traffic stop on a blue 1994 Chevrolet Capri for improper lane usage. Once Officer Vashadi came into contact with the subject, later identified as 33-year-old Joseph Dwayne Taylor of Shreveport, Taylor became uncooperative and failed to comply with lawful orders to exit the vehicle. At approximately 9.33 p.m., Shreveport Police Officers Simmons and Sergeant Denby arrived on the scene. As officers attempted to take Taylor out of the vehicle, he physically resisted and a struggle ensued. As Taylor was being removed from the vehicle and taken to the ground, officers identified an object in his right hand. During the struggle, Officer Vashadi deployed his taser, which was ineffective. As officers attempted to remove Taylor's hands from under his body, they became immediately aware that Taylor was armed with a firearm. Taylor began to push his body up and away from the ground. Officers then backed away from Taylor and Officer Vashadi fired several rounds from his service weapon. The handgun seen in Taylor's right hand was later determined to be a Glock 19 9mm with an extended magazine and a modification switch, making the gun fully automatic. Taylor was transported to Auctioner LSU Health Shreveport and pronounced deceased. The scene was processed by Louisiana State Police crime scene technicians and LSP investigators continue to work diligently in conducting a thorough investigation. Additional information will be released, including video evidence in coordination with the Caddo Parish District Attorney's Office. You will now view Officer Vashadi's in-car dashboard and body-worn camera footage. Officer Vashadi's body-worn camera falls off of his uniform during the struggle. Once the camera is on the ground, you will hear only the audio. Please keep in mind that the entire incident took place in approximately 1 minute and 43 seconds once Taylor was initially asked to step out of the vehicle. How's it going, man? Hey, I'm Officer Vashad of the Shreveport Police Department. Man, the only reason I'm stopping you now to be dead, whenever you're coming down here, you tag the yellow line like you were about to go off the road. That's it. I was making sure you ain't drunk or nothing crazy like that, man. You doing all right today? Any weapons in the car, man? No? Okay. You got ID, license? You got insurance on the car? All right, sweet. What year is it, man? It's nice. I like it. Thank you, sir. How long have you had it? Okay, you need to fix it up yourself? Oh, my bad. I got you, man. You still staying on Wagner or you somewhere else now? Jefferson Page. Jefferson Page, okay. I got you. Hey, whenever you go get a new license, I see, I need, I see you just got it, but man, whenever you get a chance, whenever you get money, 
Um, just go get a new license because I'm not going to write you a ticket for it. But if a state boys ever get you, they're going to write you a ticket for having the wrong address. So I ain't tripping on nothing like that, though, okay? Not a big deal, boss. Mr. Taylor. Hey, man, just hop out there. I'm going to talk to you back there, and then I'm going to get you on your way, okay? All right, man. Do what? Oh, I, I talked to everybody out there. That's all. That's it. Yeah, so Pennsylvania versus Mims, Supreme Court case, I can order anyone out of a vehicle for any reason. I don't need probable cause. If, if you make it more difficult than it needs to be, we can go that route, but, man, I'm just trying to get you out of here quick. I don't need probable cause to get you out of the vehicle. Okay, that's, man, you don't have to understand it. Okay, just get out the car, okay? At least turn the car off so I know you ain't going to run off. Okay, turn the car off. All right, step out the car, man. Who's your cousin? Who's your cousin? You say you... you okay. Just hop out the car, man. Dude, get out the car. I'm not going to fucking tell you again. Get out the car. Hey, he's got something in his hand. You will now view Officer Vashavi's in-car dashboard camera. This video will be slowed down in order to give you a better understanding of what happened when Taylor was removed from the vehicle. You say you... Okay. Just hop out the car, man. Dude, get out the car. I'm not going to fucking tell you again. Get out the car. Hey, he's got something in his hand. You will now view Officer Simmons' body-worn camera footage of the incident. Officer Simmons' body-worn camera falls off of her uniform during the struggle. Once the camera is on the ground, you will hear only the audio. You will then view a portion of the video that is slowed down in order to give you a better understanding of what happened when Taylor was removed from the vehicle. Get out of the car, man. 
you will now view Officer Simmons in car dashboard camera from the time the struggle is in view of the camera. Get out of the car, man. You will now view a video taken by a bystander. This video was obtained through an open source search. You will not hear audio. The Louisiana State Police Bureau of Investigations will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. Once the investigation is complete, the final report will be turned over to the District Attorney's Office for their review. Louisiana State Police Bureau of Investigations requests anyone with information, photos, or video to contact them by visiting www.lsp.org and click on the Suspicious Activity link. Any information can be reported anonymously. You can also call the Louisiana State Police Fusion Center hotline at 1-800-434-8007. Thank you for watching this critical incident community briefing.